Okay, we're talking to Colleen Costello, uh, psychic medium. Um, she's going to be working with us here at the, at the mansion, the S.K. Pierce Haunted Mansion. Um, just want to ask a few questions, maybe we'll get to know Colleen a little bit better. Colleen, when did you know that you had this ability? Um, I always had this ability ever since I was a little kid. Um, I think I probably first realized it when I was quite young, probably a teenager. Um, I used to always have very vivid dreams, like lucid dreams when I was a child and um, I also was really extremely sensitive and empathic and would sense things about people and places that I would go to um, with my parents and, uh, and then um, a lot of the dreams I would have would come true and things would start to happen like that and I just always had a general interest in things like that so I always knew that things were different and then when I was in high school I started to hear voices in my head and hear people talking to me but I really wasn't aware that that was part of my gift at the time so it all started off kind of like that. Did, did anyone ever think it might have been schizophrenia or anything? Did yeah, I didn't that? tell them. <laughs> 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 okay. Well obviously I grew up Irish Catholic and I was also adopted so um, you know I grew up in a very um, you know, my, my parents, um, I was an only child growing up and uh, we didn't talk about things like that. So, um, uh, you know, so when I would hear the voices in my head, I just kind of would say, like, put my hands over my ears and say, like, go away. And, and they would go away, um, which spirits actually do when you tell them to go away, um, which I realize now. But um, so I just, as time went on, I just had more and more interest because it was like always drawing me in. So as I got to be a little bit of an older teenager, I started to research and look up books and start to research things about anything psychic, spiritual and stuff like that. And, um, and then I got a really old book and that had a lot to do with um, psychic and spiritual stuff and how you could read using playing cards, general playing cards, which are the original tarot cards. And um, I just kind of tried dabbling in it a little bit and reading for some friends and all my friends came back and were like, oh my God, everything you said came true. And so and that's when I got an interest in tarot cards and got my first tarot cards when I was 17 and started teaching, I taught myself how to read. Wow. And um, it just came naturally to me. Everything came natural. Now, does this ever feel like a burden to you? Um, it only was a burden because I couldn't share my gift because I had to kind of hide it being Irish Catholic and I was afraid that I would be judged by my family and uh, f friends that you know thought it was something bad um, but for me I, I always thought it was something really fascinating and interesting and something I could help people with so on that part no but I love it um, I think it's an amazing gift. Now speaking of gifts does this run in the family as far as your children? Uh, yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, my son right now, he's nine years old and he is also gifted. Um, I don't see spirit. Um, I'm clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient. Um, uh, and um, I see through my third eye. So uh, what I, when I connect with spirit uh, as a medium, um, they show me um, uh, what is it's like almost seeing it on a, on a projector screen. They show me images like that. Um, I also hear them, so they talk to me. They, they let me smell things. It's a clear sentience. Um, and they also give me physical feelings of how they pass and different things like that. Um, my son um, physically, like he sees physical spirits. Um, he's uh, been seeing them probably since he's around three years old. Um, so I remember when he was as little as three, like telling me those people in his room and pointing to people and telling me names of people and things like that. But he's very scared, so we don't like to talk about it too much. And, you know, I try and protect him a lot because, um, you know, we've moved his room several times and he, he's, he attracts a lot of spirits to him. Um, so it's, it's scary for him, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, when you're a child, but the only good thing about him is he has me to help him with this. So I protect him a lot. You know, I work with the angels, so that's a big thing for me too. Um, but I, I really try and protect him because he sees a lot of things like shadow figures and um, he has spirits that are just attracted to him and call his name and all of that kind of stuff. And he, he has seen physical apparitions. Um, he saw one last year in our yard, like a full-bodied apparition spirit, like not see-through or anything, but full-bodied apparition of a boy. That scared the crap out of him. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know, but I've talked to him about, and he, he says he wants to be a psychic, and, you know, I mean, he, he talks about things, he loves it. He thinks, it's, he knows what I do. 
Yeah. Um, and he loves it, but um, you know, he's a bit young yet to get into all of that. But sure. you know, yeah. Now, how about your husband? I mean, he can't go and buy something a little special and hide it on the side now, right? Is that? <laughs> you can't hide much from me. <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, I was always like that, and I love surprises. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but as far as like going to a mansion, uh, that haunted mansion like this or any other ones, I mean, it doesn't scare you. No, no. it doesn't because. Um, I did. The only thing I'm really like, I, I I don't have a fear of spirits because I communicate with them so much, and I know that really when you communicate with spirit, you know that they're really it, they're us. It it all it is is it's us in the other side in 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 spirit body. Like it's us that we're not in the physical body anymore. And when you communicate with them, you realize that. The only thing that scares me is, uh, would be negative entities or anything like that, or demonic or something like that. That scares me. So if, uh, I wouldn't be, I would be scared of anything that was demonic. That would frighten me. Um, but I do protect myself very well. Um, I have all my <laughs> things on me. I'm going to show you. You're going to be laughing, guys, when you see what I had on me today. If I can pull it out here. Where's it going? It's in here somewhere. I'll find it. Family show. Maybe. <laughs> so, Saint Benedict, he protects against evil. So, you know, I have all my medals and all my stuff, and I protect myself with holy water and everything. But I am very religious. I know I do like, you know, what I do. But I, I'm still very religious, and um, I do work with um, Archangel Michael and all the angels. I do work with them all the time, and I, I, I they always protect me everywhere I go, and I call on them to protect me. Wow. So, yeah. Very interesting. I know, I know we had a great time tonight you know, yeah. working with you, and uh, we really appreciate it. Um, Thanks for having me. It was a blast. And if um, somebody wants to get in touch with you, um, what would be the best way if they wanted to, to get a reading from you, or, or you, I know you have a radio show also? Yeah. You could maybe just kind of mention a few of those. Things. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, it's super easy. Um, I'm on my website is theangelicspirit.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook as Colleen Costello Psychic Medium. Um, on Twitter at Psychic Colleen and Instagram. I'm everywhere. So even if you just Google me, just put Colleen Costello Psychic Medium, you'll find me. And uh, it's, it's as easy as that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. We, again, we had a great time tonight. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed this place. is amazing. And it was really an experience. Oh, good. Maybe we can do this again. I would love to. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>